Let's continue with the final island, Volcanic Hive. Final mission, yes, let's do it. Um, four enemies to start with. We have a new laser beam on our flying mech. We can only spawn in this area? That seems really small. We have an alpha blobber. That annoys the crap out of me, but you know what? Our tank is actually quite good at getting a kill on a unit like this because it can um, shoot itself backwards in order to get a hit. So we're gonna try this. I do hope I can kill that alpha blobber in a single shot. If not, hopefully it blobs right here and we can just move out of the way. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there they go. 30% grid defense. We could have had more grid defense, but I wanted the weapon. <laughs> I wanted a new gun, pretty much. So you do three damage, I think. You're annoying. You hit that in the wrong spot, but I can still move and kill it. And uh, then we're not getting shot here, which is beautiful. You are going to leap here. That seems like a very good idea. And, um... I mean, if we move here, we can get a kill by shooting you, and then we can leap, which gets a kill. In fact, if we do it in, if we do it in this order, we can heal off of this. Uh, but then what the heck is our unstable mech gonna do? It does feel like this is his best move, though, because we kill that blob and the unit in one go. So then what the heck are we gonna do? We have to move you. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking about you. I think I am just going to have to push you. Yep, I think you're just going to have to be acidified. We'll kill you next turn. It'll be fine. I'll, uh, I'll push you up in that direction too. Yes. So we'll start here. No. It, you know, it's, it's actually tough because the move that I want to make, I can't move. I want to move the nano mech, shoot here, then move the nano mech, well, then jump, then move the nano mech here, then shoot the hornet over one. But I can't move twice in a single turn. We have to figure out how we're going to do this. I think that. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a problem. Oh. Kind of got scared there for a minute. Well, we could do this. It's not good enough, though. But it will block a spawn. And we can move here. We can move here, actually, in order to push you out of the way. And then hit the Hornet, but we're going to leave the Blob to destroy a building? I don't think we destroy a building on turn one. We have to kill some enemies because we got three spawning, but I don't think we destroy a building on turn one. I think, if anything... I'm dumb. Move here and you can totally do it. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm very dumb. I figured it out. This is the turn. There you go. Now I am gonna take three damage, but we have a lot of health and we can get the health back. End turn. Much better turn. I forgot that the flying mech doesn't have to be adjacent to the target to push it. So, this is okay. Also, um, Spider Cat game is, Gaming is right. I should have just walked out of the way and uh, avoided the shot. Oops, my bad. Oops, all dumbs. That's okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Well, I like that, because it's a kill. Um, and then I like... Shooting you, and then hitting you. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, murder everything, that seems like a pretty good call. So, start here. You're alive. Move here, take a shot. Pew! Used our laser beam for the first damn time. Kill the leader, we're in a good spot. You're dead, two enemies next turn. We can heal if we have to. Wow. 
One shot will kill the Hornet. One push will deal, well, it's actually two pushes will deal with the Scorpion, but whatever. That's even not a kill. That's not even a kill. <laughs> Rather. <laughs> I mean, we can kill you, it'll just take two shots. We don't need to worry about the fire so much. Take the shot here. You do have to get the kill though if you're gonna live. So, ah, I guess you're stuck here, which is actually perfectly fine. We just keep killing, you know, one enemy unit at a time. Three enemies. And there's gonna be rocks, which should hopefully help me out. The Scion is also not really that much of a problem because it'll only do one damage. That's a job for the tank. You I can just shoot and kill. We'll take one damage from the Scion and then that's gonna be the end of the turn. We need to do this in the correct order though because if we don't, we're freaking dead, dude. So let's start here. Ah, you're gonna die. Okay, yeah, let's reset that turn. Forgot that we wouldn't heal off of the shot, so we have to do something different there. <laughs> that would do it with the acid but we can't move you at all. I mean, why, why am I worried about this? Just push him with the acid and then he's out of the way. And then we have two units who can kill this guy. One, two, three, four, five. We, we can do it! We can, no, we can't! Yes, we can, we can do it. it, it this is so dumb but like it, it actually does work, which is silly. Watch this, push him out of the way. We use our shoot mech to shoot this guy, but he's not dead. Yeah, but I can just walk into the water. Ah, but the scion will still kill me. I think we have to reset turn again, because I am going to lose my pilot. I think I have to reset turn again. I I hate that I messed it up twice in a row, but I'm having a little bit of trouble here trying to figure out how to get all these necessary kills because we have to make sure we get the kills in order to stay alive. What if we push you out of the way, we get the kill with the jump, which keeps this unit alive, and then we get the kill with the scion, which prevents the one damage that'll kill us all. That should work, you will also heal. Okay, start with the shot. Do a jump, you'll heal. You'll have one HP, but you're not gonna die because we're going to kill the Scion, put out the fire, and then we're okay. There we go. shoot the crab. So we can't shoot the crab because the tank was on fire and it would have had one HP. Although was the was the leap mech next to it where it would have only taken one damage and been down to one HP? In which case we could have maybe done done it like that, but whatever. I we figured out a way of doing it. There's probably there's probably multiple answers for that turn. 
we might have been able to shoot the crab and then knock the crab into the mech, which would have dealt that final point of damage, but... Well, you are very easy to kill. You are also pretty easy to kill. I don't see a good leap, though. I could leap here, but I really like the idea of just knocking you into the kill zone. Um, let's see what we got. Or I could just shoot you and kill you. That works, too. But then what the heck are we going to do with our leap mech? Because we can't really stand here. we got to leap out of the way. And unfortunately, if I let you live, you'll kill the bomb. But if I if I push you down, your friend will murder you. So that's that's one option. We could just take two grid power. And then what's the rest of the play? Probably stand here and push you into the drink. And then um, probably just stand here and then shoot you. I would like to block more spawns, though, but I'm perfectly okay with that outcome. Blocking one spawn means that the spawn will go away on the next turn. So, to take two grid power to kill the Hornet Leader, a Crab, and a Scarab, three enemies next turn, that's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. We have to start with the jump, though. Let's try to keep our turn resets this time. I wonder if there's any other ways that we could do this, like... Move here. Take a shot. It doesn't free the mech, though, is the, the big problem. Move here, take a shot. It'll free your mech, but... Then you're gonna still hit the building and then die, still. But it's a worse turn because we can't get a kill. Yeah, okay, I like my first my first uh, action there, which is this. We'll we'll tank a little bit of damage, but hopefully it, it won't matter. You will push this guy into the drink. Block a spawn, you will kill. You know what? Block another spawn. There you go. That is definitely the correct play to block two spawns that are gonna get tentacled and go away next turn is beautiful. We'll lose two grid power if we fail the grid defense check. Who cares? I don't think we've lost grid power since that, that second mission on the first island. <laughs> Hurting the bomb. You're hitting a building. Gotta figure out how to deal with you, though. That only does three damage with the laser. So what we'll probably do... Hmm. You know, I actually really like this move. We'll take a shot. Move to, hit, to uh, block a spawn. Finish off the dude with the leaper, and then we can acidify you so that you're killable on the next turn with one shot. That seems pretty okay. Now our mechs are pretty much dying on the same turn that they're getting a kill, so we have to make sure that they can get the kills, <laughs> but it's okay. Now that we have, like, the first island was the hard part, because you had no power to do any damage, to heal, you had low health. Now that we have, like, five health and we heal two, so much better. It's, oh, so much better. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I, um... I like this.
I like this. Are you dead? No, I gotta hit you. I like this. Everyone's got some sort of a laser beam that they can shoot out at the enemies. And if we lose like every bit of grid power, we're probably still okay. So I think we're in the clear. Still rather not shoot my own building, but you know, we'll see. That saves you. Um, a push saves you and a shoot saves you. Okay, I mean, this is, this is pretty straightforward. Actually, we can just kill you. One, two, three, four, five. Can't quite block the spawn. I would have said, you know, would you like to not block the spawn every single turn? But he's okay. We've done it. Hazardous mechs complete. What a pain of a squad. Bit of a pain of a squad. Well, again, I, I didn't have to keep the hazardous equipment. I could have gotten rid of that for like the Taurus cannon that we had picked up on like Sector 1. First Island, rather. FTL talk. Um, so we, we could veer away from the default equipment, but the default equipment does deal a lot of damage, especially with the acid. You probably don't need to do eight damage to most enemies. I mean, even the leaders only have like six. But still, it is uh, weird, fun, interesting, and difficult, but we got it done. One extra reset turn. After attacking, gain one tile of free movement. That is so nice. It is so nice. Because you can kill an enemy that's not adjacent to a spawn and then block the spawn. It's beautiful. But I'm going to keep Balu Bear because he's been on like seven different timelines at this point. So we're going to keep going for it. And we have two different squads to play as, but they're not really things that you unlock. It's random squad and custom squad. Create a random squad out of all of the mechs you've unlocked, which is all of them, and custom squad. Let's see how this looks. Left click to add a mech, right click to remove a mech. You must select three mechs. Can you not change the equipment? Edit squad, change squad. Secret squad, 25 coins. All right, well, spoilers. Edit squad. So you can't change the equipment. You can only select the three that you want. Okay, that's interesting. But uh, interesting is fun. Uh, it would be really weird to have like three science mechs that can't really do anything. Um, but there's also the uh, random squad, which gave us lightning mech, charge mech, and nano mech. Yo, acid is not bad, honestly. And the charge mech is pretty good, and the lightning mech is good too. I said that, you know, Blitzkrieg might be one of my favorites just because of the lightning ability. The, the AOE is insane. Open five time pods. Beat the game without spending rep. It's like a challenge run. And raise grid defense to 30% or more. Well, we do have, you know, objectives to complete there. You're gonna go on Nanomech Pilot. But hey, you know what? This gives us a couple of different things to do. New squads to play as. Saltmeister says, I hate Blitzkrieg, lol. Blitzkrieg? You, you're another fan of Rusty Hulks? I don't know why people love the Rusty Hulks. I don't like them. You create too much smoke, which means you can't stand to shoot an enemy to save a building. If you fill the level with smoke, the enemy is gonna stand in the one tile that's not smoke and then shoot a building and then you're gonna be like, well, I can't do anything about it. I hate it. it sucks. Blitzkrieg, it's like, hey, you walk towards me and then I'll just whip you and kill you all in one shot. Beautiful. Although I will say that part of the reason why this was good for us on the last um, 
the last time I played as a Blitzkrieg was because we had double attacks, so I could do six damage to all enemies in a single turn, which was pretty damn good. But the Blitzkrieg is still pretty good. Anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next timeline and in Into the Breach.